In the last video, I um, discussed the theory behind the eigenvalue power method. Um, the theory is uh, okay to understand, but it's always good to look at a simple example. So let's look at this two by two matrix, uh, six, five, four, five for A. Um, I chose this matrix so that it has uh, two eigenvalues that are far apart in magnitude. Uh, lambda 1 is 10 and lambda 2 is 1. So let me show you then how this uh, power method then can easily pick out the dominant eigenvalue. So to start the power method, we need some uh, initial va uh, vector to, uh, that we're going to multiply it by A. Let's just choose a simple one. So I'll just choose 1, 0 as our x0 vector. Then x1 is a times x0, so 6, 5, 4, 5 times 1, 0. That will just pick out the first column, so we just get 6, 4. Okay? Uh, we continue multiplying by a until we're going to get very large numbers. I'm not going to normalize here. Um, it's not necessary, so uh, let's just keep multiplying. So x2 then is uh, 6, 5, 4, 5 times 6, 4. I can still do this multiplication without a calculator. This is 36 plus 20, so that would be 56. And this is 24 plus 20, so that will be 44. That's about the limit of my ability. And then uh, x3 will be uh, 6, 5, 4, 5 times x2, which is uh, 56. This is a column vector, 44. So this is a 2 by 2 matrix times a column vector. My spacing is a little bit weird. Um, this gives us a column vector. Um, 6 times 56 plus 5 times 44 in the first element. That will be uh, 556. And 4 times 56 plus 5 times 44 in the second element. That will be 444. Okay? So we're going to get larger and larger values here. Uh, we need uh, two more. So x4 will be this matrix 6, 5, 4, 5 times x3, 5, 5, 6, 4, 4, 4. And there's actually a nice pattern here. This will be 5, 5, 5, 6, and 4, 4, 4, 4. And you can guess that x5 then, uh, multiplying again, will turn out to be 5, 5, 5, 5, 6, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4. So let me put commas here. Okay? And so on. So you could keep going. Okay, so the power method tells us how to find lambda 1. So lambda 1 is going to be um, x four transpose times x five over x four transpose times x four. Okay? Um, so these are numbers. Uh, what are the numbers? They're very large. This one turns out to be five hundred and six million. 178,271 in the numerator, and then the denominator is 50 million, and then we have 618,000, and then we have 272, okay? Uh, your calculator can still handle this. Uh, you do the division, you get 9 point nine 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 one. Okay? 
and so on. And this is approximately 10. So this is our eigenvalue, lambda 1 equals 10. So the eigenvector E1 um, is just x5, but we can normalize. So we can divide through by the uh, second component. So we can write that as 55,556 divided by 44,444 and 1. Um, this one turns out to be then um, 1.25. 0, 0, 2, and 1, which is approximately our 5 quarters. So this is approximately 5 quarters 1. So that's our eigenvector associated with the dominant eigenvalue. Let me summarize. Here I'm just giving you kind of a baby example to show you how this power method works. Uh, we start with some arbitrary initial vector and repeat multiply by A. And then if you multiply enough times, you can pick out the dominant eigenvalue, lambda 1, uh, with only um, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 multiplications. We're already to 9.99991. It's a good approximation to 10. And then the eigenvector is just the uh, x5. Um, but here uh, we can normalize so that we have a 1 in the second component. And you see we get 1.25002 and then a 1. And that's approximately our 5 quarters 1. Very simple method, very straightforward. Again, I want to emphasize you never code this up because MATLAB does an excellent job finding eigenvalues and eigenvectors for you, you'll use the MATLAB routines. But I just want to show you one simple method that could be used to find eigenvalues and eigenvectors. I'm Jeff Chasnoff. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.